Hi again. In this video, I'm going to continue where I left off in my previous sound design video. So let's first load our preset that we designed in the previous video, which was a single layer preset. But in this time, I'm going to turn on layer 2 and uh, continue my editing on layer 2 and make this a two layer preset. So layer 2 right now consists of only a single oscillator. I will just change the pitch of layer 2 first. I can do this from here. Let's make it plus 1 octaves. For, for oscillator 1, um, I want to import some multi-samples and use them for the oscillator. So let's import, let's uh, bring up the import dialog. I'm going to import this one first, Brass64. These multi-samples are, I downloaded them from uh, Bedroom Producers blog website. Um, they're samples, multi-samples, sampled from a Commodore 64. Select, select all and open. Now I have to choose the, the location where I want to import these. I'm go going to create a root folder to hold the C64 multi-samples. And under this folder I'm going to create uh, Brass 64. I have to create this folder because this, the files I'm importing only contain root notes. They don't, they don't contain the name of the multi-sample. So let's import and here we go. Let's actually mute layer 1. Now I have uh, a single multi-sample loaded on oscillator 1, but, but I want to use multiple uh, samples. So I'm going to switch to editive mode. In editive mode, you can actually uh, use eight, uh, wave, eight wave, waveforms or samples combined together in a single oscillator uh, instead of using eight separate oscillators. So I'm going to continue importing. Let's import one more sample. Okay, we had another pad here. Where is that? Broken set. Majestic pad, yeah. I'm going to import this one. Select all and open. <coughs> C64. <coughs> Majestic pads. Oh, the folder is incorrect. I let's create it here. That imports and let's turn on the volume. Import one more multi sample, which is Legend of Set. Select, select all, and open. And import. <coughs> of course, I have to. I have to set the frequencies correctly, otherwise they're going to sound at higher octaves. Let's make them 1. Now for the rest, uh, Let's use, uh, for the fourth one, let's use white noise. And 
for the rest, I'm going to use uh, just regular waveforms. Let's use some sawtooth waveforms here. And let's set their frequencies to <clears throat> powers of two, like in an organ. To change the um, tune, the fine tune of these waveforms or samples. modulate the volumes of these um, separate waveforms with a modulation source. All of I want to assign all of them uh, at once, so here's what I'm going to do. First, I'm going to copy the settings of oscillator 1, and then I'm going to change some values, like this. And let's modulate the change parameters with like velocity, midi velocity. Okay, now I'm going to turn on the filter, and this time I'm going to select ladder filter. Ladder filter is modeled after the Moog Moog filter. Moog uh, filter. And for modulating filter one um, frequency, this time I'm going to use a multi-segment analog. Drag and drop. And to edit the envelope precisely, I'm going to I'm going to click on the zoom button. And uh, I'm going to turn on tempo sync. So the envelope is going to be synced to the tempo. And I will set the snap value to quarter notes. So when I'm editing the length parameter, as you see, it's just snapping to quarters, like this. And what's um, nice about multi-segment envelopes is you can actually add more points. In regular ADSR attack decay sustain release envelopes, there are three stages and you cannot increase that. But for these envelopes, we can do that and let's try it actually. Loop ends should be five. Yes, it starts here and ends here and we can loop like this. Let's make this shorter like this and increase the <clears throat> Let's also make this shorter I can add more stages like this.
I mean, the upper limit is uh, should be 32 points. You can go up to 32 points. Of course, I need to change the loop endpoint. Okay, so nice. I have the MSEC uh, modulating the frequency. Now I'm going to turn on the volume for layer one. I will also increase the release time for layer one to two seconds. Let's also add some attack. Now, in the latest version uh, of SyncMaster 2's engine, we added this keyboard zone and velocity zone for layers so that we can separate each layer uh, by velocity or keyboard range. So I will also demonstrate this. For layer 1, let's set the keyboard zone to like between after C3, let it decay. And for layer 2, it will start at C3 and go up to final maximum value at C5. Yes, C3 and C5. So right now, I'm, I'm only hearing layer 1. Now I'm hearing both of them, and now I'm only hearing layer 2. So yeah, when we have multiple, multiple layers, this uh, keyboard zone and velocity zone is quite handy. I will continue my sound design by um, turning on oscillator 2. This time I'm going to set it to a wavetable oscillator and I'm going to import some wavetables. Again on my iCloud drive I have some wavetable files to test. Let's for instance download these AnyMOOC wavetables. Select, <clears throat> let's download these. I think there's a problem with my network, so I will cancel this. But the workflow is the same um, as importing samples. Uh, so I'm just going to select um, one of the wavetables that we have, like an analog profit pulse waveform. Yeah. And for the wavetables, uh, we use the index parameter to cycle through the table. Let's change the pitch to minus one octave for this one. And let's also modulate this index parameter with the multi-segment envelope. Also go to the other layer tables. Yeah, 
this one sounds nice. I'm going to increase voices for this wavetable oscillator. Before I finish off, let's add another effect to this layer. Let's use an ensemble this time. Finally, I will switch to the effects tab and add a global effects a reverb. Let's turn on the early EQ and the late EQ. Let's increase the size, the time. And let's decrease the damping. Yeah, it sounds nice. Let's save this one. As my second preset. And we're done.